She's not yours, it's just your turn. It doesn't matter if she's your hookup, your girlfriend, your fiance, your wife. Women are always consciously or unconsciously scanning the environment for the best man they can get. If she has the opportunity to get a better man than you and get away with it, she will. It's in women's biology, driven by evolutionary necessity. It's nearly impossible to fool a man who understands this reality of female nature. <laughs> Oh, why do I kind of feel bad for these guys? I guess because they just really think that they're right. And it's like, oh, dude, if only you knew that that wasn't true. Yeah, okay, whatever makes you feel better, dude. Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing amazing. Thank you so much for tuning back in. And welcome to some more Not How Girls Work. Another subreddit where guys basically think that they know everything when they really don't. I, like most guys, know that I don't know very much. So I don't go on forums and pretend that I do. But a lot of guys think they know everything about women. And it's hilarious. Having a beautiful day today and it's only gonna get better. Thank you all for all your support and let's jump into it. Enjoy. The last part is accurate only in a woman allowed to form her own opinion. If you get a girl before she's corrupted and treat her well, she simply absorbs your political views. My wife was essentially a Republican like when I met her. Within the first year of us being together, she was full red-pilled and possibly further right than I am. She also tends to drift right after children. It's in their natural instincts to become more right-wing with kids. As right-wing values protect their child more. If a woman is already corrupted or spends a lot of time with woke thoughts, <laughs> then there's no fixing her. A woman's only friend should be her mum, sisters, and her cousins. Nothing else. A girl's night out is a sign to run. They are usually too far gone at that point. Oh, this makes me want to cry. You're talking about your wife like you would talk about how you train a dog. Ugh. These sorts of people should not have partners if they're going to treat them like that. Yuck. Icky, icky. Gross, gross. Yuck, dude. And a woman's only friend should be her mum, sisters, and cousins. Get real, dude. Like, for real. Are you insane? A girl's night out is a sign to run. I think everything you just said is a sign to run. Him, I'm six foot seven. I got four felonies, six kids, eight baby mamas, and my credit score is 372. Her, oh, you said six foot seven? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. They just go for tall chads, don't they? This is not real life. These guys are living a fantasy. Yeah, the top comment says it as well. Six kids and eight baby mamas. <laughs> huh? Listen, I'm a moron and even that doesn't add up. But yeah, women only care if you're tall or not. Okay. Like, yeah, some women maybe, but they paint this picture like it's every woman ever. And then these guys just get super cynical and they hate women. <laughs> this is no good. Girls using this emoji. Guys using this emoji. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, because Donkey actually has a soft side, while Puss in Boots was just putting up a front. <laughs> wow. Like, here we go again. Yeah, all females, they're all just so evil. They're always plotting against me. It's time to bust these three stubborn myths about sexuality, monogamy, and gender. She never addresses the emotional element of having sex. There's a difference between men and women in that regard. Men can have sexual encounters without emotional involvement, while women often experience it emotionally. Therefore, women might avoid having casual sex because it has the potential to hurt them emotionally. Oh my god, no. Why do these people just forget that everybody's different? There are so many guys out there that would only do that if the emotional connection was there. And there's so many women out there that wouldn't. You can't just put a blanket statement over everybody. Nah, women can't do it without an emotional involvement like men can. Yes, they can. And vice versa, dude. Whoa! Wait, so you mean that not everybody thinks the way that I do? <laughs> no! My mind is blown. A lot of women don't have any actual hobbies and rely on their man to entertain them. Most of the complaints you'll see from men, the woman is either watching TV or on their phone, not doing an actual hobby. You think that's solely a thing that women do? Did the same guy write all of these? Think about all the men that don't have hobbies. All the people that don't have hobbies. Because this has nothing to do with gender. 
<laughs> and it's definitely not how girls work. Dude, I'm no expert, obviously, but you don't have to be an expert to know that. How can a man keep his self-control if a woman is walking around with a modest clothing? A woman should always dress appropriately wherever she goes, even at the pool or the beach. A bikini is not even a swimsuit. A bikini is a panty with a short bra. Obviously, that can make a man lose control. Wow, dude. So it's their fault. A woman's body is more sexualized than a man's body. That's because a woman's body is meant for mating, scientifically speaking. Yuck. That's so gross. So it's a woman's fault if a man can't keep his self-control. Ah. Icky, icky, icky. And also, like, scientifically speaking. Bro, don't pull that card. Yeah, that's one of the grossest things I think I've ever read. Women are pretty clueless when it comes to reading people. Best they can do is try to judge you by politics. What? <laughs> the best they can do is try to judge you by politics. What about people who don't give a damn about politics? 99% of this subreddit makes no sense. And women are pretty clueless when it comes to reading people. Did you want something out of a woman and you didn't get it, dude? So now you think that women are just clueless when it comes to reading people? I feel like there's a lot more to the story than this. This is called art. This is the legacy and heritage of the West. This is what men of the West fight, sacrifice, and die for. This is victory. Is there an example of a female sculptor who committed herself to the same level of detail that a male does with a woman? None that come to mind. That sculptor in an act of worship before heaven, and it shows. Um, the sculptor is a Chinese woman, you dorkass losers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> so they're like, oh, a woman could never sculpt something so beautiful. And they also said this is the legacy and heritage of the West. And the sculptor is a Chinese woman. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Dorkass losers. <laughs> I can't believe they said that. This is the epitome of people just thinking they're right about everything when they didn't even bother to look it up. One of the problems with women today is the lack of men offering negative feedback and the plethora of men offering positive feedback. This allows young women to do whatever they feel like because there's plenty of thirsty dudes who encourage bad behavior. Yeah, exactly. Like this top comment, a lot of men literally do nothing but offer negative feedback. What the hell is that person on? It just comes off as such like a controlling thing, you know? Like, oh, we need to keep women in their place and we need to make sure they know that they're not as good as us. It just comes off as like so controlling. Like they want women to just feel like they're not as good as men, you know? Ugh, icky. When a man earns money, he dreams of giving his wife the best. When a woman earns money, she feels she doesn't need a man. Bro, they don't need a man. That's not the point. If you're married to somebody, it's not because you need them. It's because you love them, you know, and you want to be in a relationship with them. It's a need versus want thing. When a man earns money, he dreams of giving his wife the best. When a woman earns money, she feels she doesn't need a man. She doesn't need a man. That's not why they're with you. If they are, that's not a very good relationship. Spiritual law. There is an equal amount of balance in chaos as there is in order. If a woman doesn't appear feminine to you, it's because your masculine energy is weaker than hers and she doesn't feel safe. What does that even mean? Masculine energy. How do you increase your masculine energy, dude? Do you put on a flannel and get an axe or something? What do you mean? Get out your muscles? How do you just make yourself have more masculine energy? That's such a cringy thing to read. Like, okay, I need to be more masculine. Um, I'll pull my sword out and I'll eat a steak in front of her and I'll do a hundred push-ups. Please help me understand, dude, because I don't get it. I don't really think that they do either. What's the reason that the average female doesn't have any hobbies besides shopping and gossiping? Oh! <laughs> These guys talk about women like they've only seen them in movies or something. They actually sound like aliens. What is the reason that the average female doesn't have any hobbies besides shopping and gossiping? What? What do you mean? You can say the exact same thing about guys. I want to read some of the answers to that. Haha, <laughs> when hormones trump brain cells. Women, childbirth is the most painful experience imaginable. Men could never understand. Also, women after having a baby. I'll do it again. Like, yeah, if it's meant to be the most painful thing of all time, why would you do it again? Yeah, that's what 
you think until you actually think about it. We're talking about having kids here. That's a very special thing. Like, obviously, it's worth it. I'm sure if you didn't get much out of it, no one would do it. All women are liars and cheaters. As soon as a better looking, richer, etc. guy comes along, your ass is out. They don't care about you, just what you can do for them. It's how women work. Yeah, I think the wholesome memes are right around the corner. Man, I will never forget to remind you that. Never date a woman older than you. It's an entrapment into misery. You see, she's racing against time. You'll be manipulated into her race and it will be disastrous. There are very many young women. Hashtag masculinity Sunday. She's racing against time. What does that even mean? Isn't every single person on earth racing against time? Like, dude, we're all getting older. <laughs> what do you mean? These are so funny because you just know that they don't even know what they're talking about. Okay, I'm calling it there, guys. Let's check out some wholesome memes. Hi, Grandma. Bobby, can you see me? The phone is too close to your face. Oh, I can see you. There's my lovely Bobby. But where's that beautiful smile, Grandma? No. <laughs> Grandma Whale Shark. Yeah, that's really cute. Life is so hard. I just can't. Yes, you can. Ah, oh, Yeah, you can. Absolutely, you can. Wow, wow, we were comics. That's the best name I've ever heard. Wow, wow, we were. <laughs> Bro, if I ever have a kid, that's what their name is. Hello, little wah wee wah Soccer is just an excuse for adults to go play in the rain and come home filthy like you're a kid again. Well, yeah, I guess so. It's just that, except they take it way more seriously. Okay, guys, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you didn't get too freaked out. I had a wonderful time today. This subreddit is awesome. But yeah, that's about as much as I can take of it for today. Today's comment of the day is very fitting and it goes to Lily Fairy. I feel like screeching from this. We need an extra long wholesome memes video. I'm with you 100%. Like sometimes when I film these videos, I actually have to take a break. I've seen a lot of other channels and I do think that ours is like one of the more positive ones. And I think that's really important because otherwise I wouldn't even be able to do it. So yeah, wholesome, but also terrifying. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. Have a wonderful night. And I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new fun videos. I'll see you then.